my next question to you. If we went and, and looked at the credits on the album right now. Yeah, you're going to see Ian Coleman. You're going to see Ian Coleman. Even when Nicki Minaj reused it and put Best Ever Had Remix on her Queen print that she put out or whatever, I think, last year, the tape she put out or whatever, she put the Best Ever Had Remix on it. Uh, Beam Me Up, Scotty, I think she it was what it was called. Beam Me Up, Scotty, it was a mixtape she put out last year. And it was like all her remixes and stuff on that or whatever. You go look at that, whatever. My name is on that too, Ian Coleman. You go look at Spotify right now. Look at the credits on Best I Ever Had. You'll see Ian Coleman, which is Nakia Coleman. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a fact. I mean, what's behind me are the plaques and, and some of the awards that I got for Best I Ever Had. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't, it, it was like never a lot, but but the internet is written in, in pen, not pencil. And when someone says something, they don't take time to be able to fact check you know, Drake is Drake. So nobody's going to fact check and see what he's saying. If he say he's lying, people that love him are going to believe he, that this dude's lying. But when you go do your own research and you go look at Spotify right now, and look at the credits the best I ever had, you will see Ian Coleman right there, Nakia Coleman. So, um, you know, it, it, it's just one of those things where I had to just, okay, if the whole industry can hate me, I thug my way through. I don't care if you don't agree with me. I'm a man. And if if that thing is owned by me and that's my intellectual property and I got to make sure I protect my own, then I'm going to make sure I do that. I'm not going to let nobody take nothing from me. And at the end of the day, if I would have done so and not made waves, well, when 2020, when COVID hit and everybody felt the pinch of what was going on financially or whatever, and artists wasn't doing no shows, there were no venues or anything or whatever, you know what artists had to be able to sell? They're publishing. You know what I mean? And for me, you know what I mean? In my family, I was able to sell some of that publishing to make a nice piece of money at a time when I needed it. You know what I mean? Which was 11 years later. You see what I'm saying? So if I- Okay, and, and now that's that, that's where I was gonna go. You yeah. know, TVT did bad business with you. Yeah. But you actually have writer's credit. Yes. Um, got BMI awards, yes. nominated for a Grammy. Yes. Did you receive royalty checks from Best I Ever Had? Yes. Oh, yeah. Now, nah, yeah, everything was fine with that. But um, I made my move before the first royalty check was even cut from BMI. You know, if you know business, you know that when you come out with a song, you're not going to receive your first royalty from BMI until nine months later. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. So all my business was squared away with the Best I Ever Had prior to it even being the first check cut with BMI. So as soon as the first check cut got BMI, yeah, I saw my royalties immediately. And I still see royalties from it. So you know to this day, you still eating off it? Yes. Yes, gotcha. indeed. I and immediately. you was able to sell a piece of it and yes. get a nice chunk of change over COVID? Yes. Immediately, yes. Okay. Immediately, yes. And I used that to get myself off of uh, Universal Music Publishers uh, publishing deal, too. Because that I sold the piece of it to Universal so I can get off of them and get a bag. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, now my all my publishing is mine. I own everything else. And and I still, you know, eat from that record too. You know what I mean? So and in 2020 when everybody when I needed it, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, it was like uh that's why, you know, I don't care about what if right is right, the truth gonna be the truth today, tomorrow, and forever. So I didn't really I didn't really care about what, what, what was being said or what people thought. I cared about my bottom line and my family. I wake up with my kids and my family every day. So that's who I got to please. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if somebody, a musician don't like me for me standing on business and doing, I know when someone says you write for them, that's a kind of a chink in the armor because they think that you're actually in the physical studio writing for them. But in the case of real business, when you sample someone's music, they're gonna get a writer credit on that particular song. That is just music business one on one, and I and and I that's what it was. And he just was uninformed, you know what I mean? And I saw him since then, and we are cool to this day. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move, and I'll catch you all on the next video.